actually only was able to watch this week's episode today, and it almost... 209 or 210? 209. 209. I'm not ahead yet. Okay. But 209. And it almost didn't feel like an Outlander episode because there wasn't enough misery. <laughs> <laughs> we will try to increase the misery factor for you. Beginning next week, there'll be some misery that happens next week. So. Oh no, that's our. That was our break. Yeah. Is that all we get? Yeah, that was your. That was your happiest moment of the whole season. Oh no. Um, it, it has been a pretty dark season. I mean, I guess the show in general is pretty dark. It, it, you know, it's a tragic story in a lot of ways. It's a lot of heartbreak and a lot of loss and a lot of you know things that go badly. You know, is sort of our tale. Obviously, we have some pretty awful stuff coming up this season. Is there a little bit of levity? Is there something light and happy for fans to look forward to amidst all of that? Amidst all the strong and drag. Well, you know, I think there's some fun stuff in the finale, certainly, because the finale, you might have heard, is going to be 90 minutes, and it takes a lot of uh, things that were in the book but earlier in the book and that fans might have thought that we weren't going to do or we'd forgotten about. And some of that stuff is actually quite charming and quite funny, so there is that to look forward to. Great. Speaking of the finale, we learned that we'll be meeting our t two new characters and doing a bit of a time jump, obviously. It will be coming in the finale. Um, how are you looking forward to doing, I mean, it's a 20-year time jump. What are you planning for that? You know, a lot of people talk about the makeup that you're going to have to put on Kat and Sam. But 40 isn't, for, in the 40s isn't even that old. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have to do anything radical to Kat, you know, it was, and a lot of it is, is literally just performance, you know, she just acts like a woman 20 years older and suddenly she has a daughter, so you kind of read into that, you know, you, the audience carries with them the idea that she's older. So we did adjust her makeup accordingly, but we didn't do giant prosthetic pieces or huge bags on her eyes or anything like that, because it's not that much, it's, it's, it is only 20 years. How does knowing you have seasons three and four free up the story for you, knowing that you have at least two years to tell more of the story? It makes a lot of things easier because you can do more long range planning, you know, and you, it just, most of it is logistics and budget. You now have a bigger field to play on and you can move your resources around a little more freely. You can make long term plans because on our show, because it keeps traveling from place to place to place, that is very complex. And so now we know, all right, if we're definitely doing season four, we know we're going to end up in the new world and in America. How are we moving the show to where that'll be possible instead of just thinking one season at a time? And in terms of story, it just gives you more freedom knowing that you've got the two full years. You can kind of cover things. You can decide, well, maybe we slide this event or that event into the second year or vice versa you just have more more to play with okay, and last question um, just we've got a s certain number of books right now but the story's not over do you foresee yourselves having to pull a game of thrones for say and lead the story on after what no. diana i can't imagine how that would happen cuz like you said there's there's eight books right she's writing the ninth well, we're only in season three, so unless she literally stopped, it would still... We, and even if she literally stopped today, if she said, you know what, screw it, I'm done with this whole thing, I'm going to Jamaica myself, excuse me, we would still have another, what, six years of production to go, and that would take us through season nine, and I don't think even if we stopped at season nine, anybody would say, oh my God, it's a failure. So we're just, we're so far away from the George, from the Game of Thrones problem that I'm not worried about it. Thank you.